Hello there guys, Andy from Kent Survival here again. Thank you once again for uh, tuning in to my latest video. I'm here on the North Kent Downs for a nice cup of tea and my Crusader. I've come up here today to do a little bit of testing, but um, to show you this little project I've been working on. So some of you who follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, why not? Well, no, I've been working on this for some time now. It's um, handmade leather axe sheath and collar and the axe itself I've uh, been working on as well. So I'll start from the beginning. This was uh, from a store here in the UK called Screwfix. Um, it was £10, so it's probably about $14 I guess. Hickory handle, I think it was a one and a half pound head, I'd have to double check that and put it on the screen if it differs. Um, but yeah, for £10 I uh, couldn't really go wrong I don't think. Uh, so I'll put on screen a picture of what it looks like when you first get it but um comes painted on here i've uh, sanded that off coming with no edge whatsoever i of course put an edge on it uh, using one of them um, flat discs on a angle grinder so it's pretty sharp now and i've sanded down the handle it had uh, markings on their transfer stickers got rid of all that polyurethane and just put some nice boiled linseed oil on the handle there so looking pretty nice. I sourced the leather itself from a, a friend who does um, leather body armour. So uh, that was of no cost to me and then went out and bought some of the tools myself. Um, there's actually a few more than you realise you do need and a few more stages than you'd kind of expect but uh, it's all a learning process, watching videos on YouTube helps a lot. I looked around on Instagram, on YouTube and, and from uh, makers of leather products on what sort of style I wanted to do and settled on this. Uh, a lot of them you can fasten from behind, on top, beneath. I'll show you some pictures on the screen now but this is what I settled on um, with the proper design to go over the top there. Um, collar is pretty straightforward. Um, just made a template, a paper template for both of these, uh, making sure they're oversized for the stitching and the gluing, etc. And um, yeah, I think that's come out quite well. So, just to show you the sheath in a bit more detail, you can see there's been glued, stitched, and um, it's got the rivets in too. So, that's definitely not coming apart. Um, you could go with just rivets, just gluing, just sewing if you wanted to, depending on the look you want. Um, this is the direction I took um, from some of the research I did. The colour of the leather work um, was done using just ordinary shoe polish and I've blended it in so it's uh, darker on the edges than it is in the main body of the leather parts. The axe itself um, is not really a uh, bushcrafting axe I suppose. Um, the chin area here I believe it's called um, could come in a bit more for uh, making it a bit more lightweight and for, for doing wood carving. I did use it whilst carving my wooden spoon, but um, it does get a little heavy, heavy to use. But for splitting wood, it, it's perfectly fine, so it's good to take camping. Um, yeah, so I hope you like it. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. I, I know it's not perfect, but um, you know, on the next one, I'll do some things differently. Anyway, I know it's been a pretty short video today, but I just wanted to show you what you can do with um, a pretty cheap product that's um, perfectly usable. Um, you can turn it from this to this. So thanks very much for watching. Um, if you've not seen any of my other videos, uh, you can check some of them out. There'll be some on the screen now. Uh, subscribe as I put out videos every week at the moment. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.